Hi guys, this is Ross in the Ribeye Boats Unit 3 building at our HQ. I'm currently down um, where we build the Ribeye Prime series and on today's video I'm going to take you through the construction and what it takes to build a Ribeye Prime series as we're getting a lot of questions recently as to why we're saying they're the best. So stay with me, let's take a closer look. Okay, so here we have a hull mould as you can see. And this is the first stage of building uh, any ribeye prime or any um, ribeye yacht tender. So the first thing the guys are going to do here is polish the mould. Um, so effectively, and wax the mould so you can actually get the product out once the hull is made. You'll see all ribeye hulls have a lot of chines, a lot of spray rails and a nice deep V and a high bow. And that's why our boats are known for being the best sea boats and the driest and the softest sea boats. But what we're going to need to do is choose your gel colour. So you, could be, you may want to go for black, you may want to go for white or grey. And what the guards will do, rather than traditionally painting in gel coat, we use a gel spray gun which sprays the catalyst at the same time, which gives you a much better surface finish when we actually pop the piece out of this mould. Um, it also eliminates things such as fish eyeing, which is when you can get air bubbles in the gel coat. Um, so we get a really good surface finish by um, using the gel coat spray gun. We're now looking at a deck moulding, as you can see here. This is for a Prime 821. You can see that this is going to be a black gelled boat. And what the guys are doing here is a first skin coat using a high quality vinyl ester resin. And we do that to give the boats a hard outer shell, but also it prevents print through, which you can get um, when you infuse a boat, which effectively is when you can slightly see the mat um, in the surface finish. So we do a nice hand lay um, skin coat to prevent that. Okay, looking at the Prime 821 hull here, you can see the guys have got the infusion bag uh, ready to be vacked down into the mould. And what, what we do rather than hand laminate the hull is we, um, we actually dry lay absolutely everything um, using an adhesive spray. So the guys have actually laid in all of the fiberglass matting and all of our stringers and bulkheads, which are these, these um, bits of structure which run down the boat longitudinally and across the boat making the hull exceptionally strong and by being able to put all of these pieces and bits of materials in in one go vacuuming this back this bag down and then through these channels here we're going to directly inject resin underneath the bag which will then force the resin evenly through all of the fiberglass and materials here it's that that gives the ribeye prime industry leading strength because we're 3d infused all of this structure which eliminates any secondary bonding of stringers and bulkheads when they go in. And that's why any prime owner who builds a boat with us from the word go gets a lifetime structure warranty. Another key thing that gives the ribeye primes industry leading strength to weight ratios is that we use an advanced foam core in the laminate, which is pretty unheard of in the rib industry. Now, I've got an example of a piece of core here. You'll see these squares that run throughout it and they're resin channels, which allow when, you, when you're under infusion, it allows the resin just to kind of move through all the materials um, accordingly. So we do that because it, it brings the weight down in the structure, making the boats perform really well. But as you can see, by looking at this, the size of our stringers and longitudinals, it makes the hull and all the strength parts of the boat very thick whilst keeping that weight down. I mentioned the uh, gel, gel coat spray guns earlier so here we have we've got two of them so we use these to spray the gel in the hulls the decks the console molds. Okay guys so we're outside in Fusion Bay 1 and here we have a Prime 941 and you see the longitudinals running up here and you can see there's absolutely no joins anywhere. So we really have minimized the secondary bonding on these boats here. Everything's really strong. You can see the foam core here, making the hull exceptionally thick. Um, and we've also taken the wood out of the structure, most importantly. Another advantage of building with core, we've got a deck piece just above here. This will be joined to the hull at some point. And you can see here, we've actually infused in some stainless steel tapping plates because this, this particular boat's going to be a yacht tender. And by using this infusion technology, you're infusing within the structure the, um, the, uh, the tapping plates for the lift points, meaning that we're able to build these boats as certificated lifeboats when requested. And the lift points have a stress rating to eight to one. Another factor that makes the ribeye primes and yacht tenders super strong is this thing behind me here, which is called a tube carrier. Now on many ribs, you don't actually get these. So within the tube, within um, where the tube lives inside the rib, we actually put an additional molding in here, which, which adds in all that structure and joins um, the deck molding to the hull. And quite often when you look inside um, 
rib lockers uh, underneath the back seat, you'll just see tubes. So another benefit of this is internal protection. So you're never gonna damage or harm the tube when putting things inside the locker. But most importantly, this is adding additional structure from the hull to the deck. And by infusing the rib eyes, using the core, fitting tube carriers, it's all about creating a globally strong product. Okay, so I'm in a Prime 941 right now, which has come out of um, these molds here. And when I say globally strong, what I mean is every shape on the ribeyes complements other shapes to create that strength in its entirety because often you may see back bench seats like this actually made from a secondary molding and then bolted to the deck whereas the ribeye approach is always to create this using the main solid structures of either the hull or the deck so this is all part of the deck molding and what it gives you is more strength yes but also when you open this back seat on gas rams for example it gives you fantastic a very large aperture for accessing the, uh, the, the space inside the hull giving you a class leading storage locker at the back of the boat. You can get weight boards in here, loads of kit. This will all be finished with beautiful hand cut teak. But also when we fit structural um, secondary items onto this boat, such as the tow mast, which will be bolted through this piece of core here. But also you'll see these two holes here, which have been pre-drilled ready for a high quality Sea Smart cleat. You're able to fit the cleat but then underneath here, get the access to backing plate, it making that cleat really strong. But the other thing that makes that cleat and that location really strong is, again, it's using this globally strong deck molding to have the strength internally, rather than a secondary molding back seat here with a cleat fitted, which wouldn't be as strong. Just looking inside the bow area of this 941 that I was just inside. Again, by using the single piece deck mold, and you can see when this u berth locker, which isn't fitted, would be folded up, it gives you fantastic access into all of these lockers, making them very we weatherproof. You'll see these advanced rain channels either side. And again, you can use a locker lid here to access the space inside the hull in this under deck locker. Another really unique feature of the Prime guys uh, in our quest of making these the strongest um, ribs to be made in Britain is the, um, the chine and spray rail configuration. These are actually sacrificial. So in the complete off chance that you really did whack one of these, you would not pierce the hull. And we achieved that by prior to doing the initial vinyl ester skin coat, which we talked about earlier, we actually fill these with a high density foam and filler paste and then do the vinyl ester skin coat. So if you were to ever really whack the hull, which will never happen, we hope, but if you did, one of these would actually come off and then the actual hull itself would not be pierced. And that is something completely unique to this hull construction as opposed to a hand laminated monolithic construction where these would be a weak point. For those of you who are thinking, what are these parts actually for in the hull architecture? Um, when you actually power up, these actually give the hull fantastic lift up onto the water surface. It allows the ribeye to plane very efficiently, but also um, when you do power up, it, stop, it prevents the bow lifting too much, giving you a fantastic driver experience. Right guys, so I'm gonna sign off this um, ribeye boats prime and yacht tender construction video. As you can see, we have got a lot of boats to build at the moment. There's a lot of engines and a lot of projects going on. Right guys, I'm back up at the ribeye HQ building where we have our offices, our design and engineering team, and also our fit out boat builders. If you're a client, you'd like to come and check out how we build and design our boats in house, we would love to hear from you. And most importantly, we can get you on the water for a sea trial. And if you're watching this and you may be a boat builder, also a mechanic or an electrician, and you'd like to get into the marine industry and be the best of British, we are a Queen's award winning business. And we have a fantastic team. So we'd love to hear from you too.